By the way, for the last point, I've saved this one till the end because it's just a fun point and it's a little bit spicy. So for ugly, crucially, the framing is ugly, guys. I'm just going to say the Twitter back and forth slash blow up between Launders and Donna. I'm just going to put that out there because this was fucking... This is glad. Like, here's the problem, Maui. What's sad is, if if we had never done that episode with Donna, I'd probably be like a lot of people in the scene who don't know. I'd probably just be hating, like, oh, what the what a fucking rude! Show. How dare you? But I'd have probably done like my own little like clap back. But the problem is, once you've actually done like the show with it, you realise like part of it's Twitter, and there's, you know you can't see what the person's looking at. Also, people are overreacting in the moment. Remember, in this case, literally, it's like her boyfriend. She's sort of trying to defend there while simultaneously battling people who are also famous in the scene. The problem is, I couldn't take it. Like, I don't know about Lord, I couldn't take it to heart. Like, I was just laughing the whole time I saw that back and forth. But in fact, I can't even lie. I was like, I actually was like one of these like fucking catty American women like getting the popcorn like ooh serve the tea yep yeah, yes queens like, like so I was loving it mate because especially when she told him not even though sadly part of it was unintentional guys like if you don't know she actually didn't mean he's ugly like he's actually fucking like butters or whatever she just meant like he's it's ugly to be a hater but even that was hilarious because to be fair actually Lord, one thing you can't really say is he's ugly he's pretty good looking actually to be fair but that was also funny the idea that it was like he's ugly and a hater and then also his original comment was so tame like all he basically yeah. said was like you know that like Nexus stats weren't good or something or that he wasn't that great so it was like such a tame comment and she just went straight for the juggler like, like and then also she did the classic move which this made like and this made me almost descend up the earth hit me one thing my if she just said you're wrong and I disagree but when she did that thing where it was like you can't even understand the game oh my god oh, yeah god. Oh, mate, because it, it, there's a fucked up thing I don't know if people know, which is for some reason in British culture, like lad culture, we have this weird, I don't know if you guys have this in other countries, but we have this weird fucked up thing where if something happened to me that was really irritating, obviously I'd be really upset, it's irritating me, but if something really irritating happens to your friend, it's sort of funny in a fucked up way, so I don't know why, but in British culture, like we love shit like that, as long as it's not me it's happening to, like look, if she was coming at me, this is probably the bad point, like fuck God of CS Glow, but because it was Lorna's, I was just laughing, mate, the whole time, I was just sat back like, it's fucking amazing keep keep going keep going like i had, but it was pretty ugly i will say like what a what a fucking weird day so i also want to know what you guys think of that I, listen i thought it was box off it was, it was entertainment like, it was straight fire i even think in a weird way Launders did his video it would have been better if you did just actually for real just brought her on stream mate. that would have actually been fire if you did like a little back and forth it could have even been like spicy by the way sad thing is i actually don't even think it would be that bad i actually think you'd probably find a middle ground in it and get resolved like it did on twitter but i wanted to know what you guys thought because i thought it was pretty spicy i don't got like Fucking! They put the genie back in the bottle the next day, but it was pretty, pretty good day. I thought it was fire. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of both of them because I, I, I like that. I like that Donna is just like devoutly defending Nexa because I mean, come on, if I, if you, if I had a significant other in the space that was a public facing figure and I play like absolute garbage and but I still win a championship, I want at least one person to defend course, me. You know, yeah. it's like that meme of like if like if there are a thousand. Nexa fans oh, on the planet, okay. then I am among them. If there is only one left, I am that Nexa fan. If there are no Nexa fans, then Donna has left the planet. You okay. know, like that's I'm okay. Like that should be the new meme, actually. I mean, and then with 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 Launders, like I mean, all of his replies were just funny, kind of tongue in cheek, little back. back oh, they were like, yes. I, I think I think people probably I noticed I know people get so riled up in this space like I mean the fans do at least that that people are like that like the things that Donna said are just like inexcusable or like like she <laughs> sure. should be banished sure. from the space and I'm like I'm like this is entertaining like this is funny this is funny and I want Donna around in the space because this is funny and I'm glad obviously that Launders just stood his ground on it because a lot of people would kind of back down a little bit at least about like like Nexa, oh, oh, I can see one winning Counter Strike, or whatever. Let's like whatever. But I'm glad that he just stood his ground and just made it funny on his end. Overall, really good exchange. Probably one of the better parts of the Dallas victory was that not only did we get to see the Richard Stewie hot, hot. That was good too. To that, that was listen. That was if, that, if it hadn't have been for the Launders Donna one getting top billing, you know the UFC main event. That was the core main event. Obviously, I agree. Yes, but exactly. Because the Stewie Richard one was pretty good too. That was pretty good too.
Yeah, they were both great. They were both so they were both like for an event that felt like uh just all this craziness happened, all the storylines played out yes. in such a hilarious way. Like that was the cherry on top. It's also, of it. by the way, I mean, you could also appreciate this, Maui. It's also fun when it's just not you, because normally it's just me and you that the pros are directly coming out like oh you. Go, God, you don't know anything about the game and you'll never understand. Oh, okay, mate, whatever. Like I know I just get to laugh like, ah, yeah, she's wrecking him. Don't don't uh, never mind my opinion about Nexa though. Like <laughs> what do you think, Echo? Thoughts. Maybe for for you it was also like you know like you see the situation you're like what of us what of exactly us? yes but that's like the thing is that is like the format of Twitter like you are limited in how much you can actually write uh, just by the amount of letters like you can put in or by the, the by the format like if you have like the subscription like you can like write like a big text no one is gonna read the long sure. text explaining like all of the details yes. like, and it goes for both of them it goes for both like what Lander said like and what donna said like you know like if she for example says like ugly she didn't mean it in a way like physically she could like write like a longer explanation but this is not the <laughs> format of, of twitter so like we just make conclusions like on our like i don't know like of what is our first impression uh, and obviously, yeah, like maybe they went into this whole thing uh, in a different mindset because with Launders, it didn't feel like uh, he would, he kept on doing this in order to win the war. And I feel like really often like that is the case. Like oh, when you sure. are starting an argument, you need to figure out like what is your actual goal? Is your goal to just win at like at and like at any stake? Like then like you can use like whatever like whatever yes. is possible. Right. If your goal is like to maybe, hey, this is my position. I want to stay with it. Uh, then you could try to explain. With Londres, is like, I don't see a war here. I'm just, it's like shits and giggles. Um, obviously, uh, both of them work in a different state because uh, Londres is the one that was originally getting attacked. So he's like, huh? what is happening with uh, Donna? He, she like went into like this defense mode, like, which makes a lot of sense. If like your partner is being attacked, you like you want to like. Because probably the thing is, it's one thing when um, maybe some kind of like random fan uh, says something, and you're like, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, like this person, she, he just like, uh, like they just like sit on the couch, they don't do anything for like a living, like they're whatever they're saying, like doesn't matter. Like when it's someone like big that has like a big following set, like has, especially like uh, if like they have like all the fans and they're just gonna like. Uh, take uh, whatever they're like, I don't know, like, you can say the influencer uh, is saying like for, for granted and then like they're gonna share that opinion. She wanted it to try to like to stop it. May, I don't know if it was in the best way possible, uh, but it was like in a way and I understand like uh, why she had like those actions. Uh, I just hope that in the end there's like not gonna be any drama, no cancellations, no nothing, but... yes. On, on, on the topic uh, of uh, entertaining, yes, that was indeed entertaining. By the way, I'll even say it. one thing that people didn't even give her credit for is I do think this is both like the good and the bad of her situation is. She obviously does have information the rest of us, especially those of us not in G2, do not have. Like she actually can ask Nexa things and potentially get an honest answer in a way. Even I can't if I message her. Like even if Nexa messages me off the record, I, I don't know if like he's still hiding something or he doesn't mean it. Like she knows Nexa and people in G2 and obviously she was at the event, guys. So I imagine if she wants, she can go backstage and stand where they're doing the huddle and all the like sort of stuff that normally you'd only seen a vlog or edited out of a vlog even. So she does have more info, but I do think in some way, so one, people should give her a tiny bit of credit. She's not really just someone's girlfriend's at home just imagining it all and just going like, or like, you know, when people's moms sometimes have a Twitter account, like, hey, leave my kid alone. It's like, she's not doing that. Like, that would just be a bit silly. Like, she might not know what she's talking about, but I do think on her point though, if she was here, the point I would make to her is this. It's like, you're right, people don't have that piece of information, but they, are, they, they don't have to have that information Information. Like, Laundress is just speculating from outside the team. He doesn't claim to know what's happening internally. He's just making his judgment as someone who does watch a lot of Couch Strike. And by the way, even though I know her, her angle was like, you don't know anything about the kids. Like, Laundress does know about fucking CS. Come on. Like, we don't have to make ridiculous hyperbole. You might not agree with him, by the way. And you might even say, that's it, boy, this. I would have just gone with the angle of sort of like, yeah, but like, actually, there's more going on in the team than you know. I'd go for some angle like that because if you actually phrase it in an abstract way, I think he'd even agree with you. He'd be like, well, yeah, I don't know what's going on in the team. But this is my thought. 
thoughts. But it was just funny because I think she just got too emotional how she responded in that way. Like she just went, her problem is, and by the way, I can relate to this. She didn't like ease into it. She started at max speed, didn't she? She already was going at 100 mile an hour, as it were. Well, you know what? I can't hate on that. I, again, think about early in this convo. I've had a few times, you know, put it to her mouth. There wasn't even a safety on my God. Never mind triggered this, but there was just no safety. It was just a machine gun. It? it was like, that was my Twitter before. So I can't hate on it. I also did, like I say as well, I, I think it's funny as fuck though. Like, the, in fact, you know what's sad? I'm, I, the only thing I'm sad about is I'm, I'm the opposite to the rest of you. You're all thinking it's great now that like it wasn't really that big a deal. They resolved it all. I'm actually sad that it turned out she did just mean ugly in a different sense. I thought that would have been straight fire if her actual angles were. You know, nothing about the game and you're fucking ugly. Like, listen, it's really rude, but it's fucking, that would be box office right there. Like, but that would be like this... The same thing, like uh, with uh, Mao is giggling like a monkey. It's like the same thing. Yes. It's just, it's just like it's like when you listen. To, if that is being brought as like an argument, you're like, hmm, not good, not good. <laughs> Obviously, Maui just needs to make a special simple shirt of the three monkeys, isn't it? You know, like see no evil, speak no evil. You know, you just need to do a little Maui shirt like that, and then simple like there you go. See no evil I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get him back. To see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content, well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.